Okay, welcome back to Darkwood everybody. This is part two and before we start our adventure in chapter one, I do want to say a couple of things before we get started. So first things first, thank you very much for watching the first video and leaving your support. It seems like the majority of people did want me to continue this as a series, uh, so I can at least guarantee you a few videos more of this game, all right? Second thing is, uh, it seems like the details in the first video were kind of hard to pick up unless you were watching it in full screen. Uh, so I actually lowered the resolution. I don't think it's really affected the graphics all that much. It still looks more or less the same. And hopefully you can actually read some of the text and see some of the more intricate details if you're in, you know, just watching this in a window. So that should help that. Uh, third thing is, if I press J, I have a journal. And I've got skills, apparently. Well, I, I have no skills at the moment, but I guess I will. This is an RPG, after all. Um, so if I go to the journal down here, there's a few pages torn out, unfortunately. But... Um, I think this is just going to keep track of our movements throughout the game and, and important story elements. At the moment, it seems like all I want to do is find the key that I've lost. Okay. Down here, items. Now, this is where all the important items are kept, I suppose. Like the plastic chick that we picked up off the dead guy. Well, the, uh, the guy that we killed. So, uh, there you go. That must have some importance. And then there's keys. I suppose when I do find my precious key 21, that's where it's going to go. All right. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So we're in a completely new area. At the moment, we're in the sort of east section, which is the dry meadow. To the north, the old woods. To the southwest is a silent forest. That's the hideout. To my west is the underground entrance, which I suppose is where we want to go. But before that, let's have a look at our hideout, starting with this oven. Oh. Oh, okay, it's worthy of a new journal entry, apparently. Uh, I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. The smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. I see. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Okay. That looks kind of wacky, actually. But I think a lot of this game probably will. Let's have a look at the oven. Okay, when I arrived, it was basically prepared. I just needed to light it. Okay. Right, yeah, one of our hideouts, one of our group's hideouts, I guess. What about this weird bottle? Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. Wow. So, yeah, it's heavily advised to, uh, to stay inside the sleeping area. Okay, during nightfall, sure. I'll come back here. But it doesn't guarantee safety, so remain vigilant. Okay. Stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Sure. Uh, and now I can have a look at the pot, it looks like. I haven't used it yet. It's empty. Um, I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. And now I can cook? Okay. That's not exactly what I expected to see, but sure. Well, I've got nothing at the moment. Literally nothing in my inventory. I guess we need to find 50 essence? For a dose of something? What, ha what happened to the pot? <laughs> okay, I, I guess I'll come back when I found some essence. Sure. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, you can see the pipes going into every single room in this place, so I should be safe. And I think that area, yeah, in the top left, we've got like our uh, my, our status, I guess. And it looks like there's potential for more, so anything that's happen happening to my character should be up there, I think. Okay, let's have a look at the bedroom, shall we? All right, so there's a there's a trap, yeah. It's still open. Looks like the night was exceptionally uneventful. And thank God for that. We've got a wardrobe here. Okay, here we go. So we've got some rope, alcohol, um, just an empty bottle. I guess maybe I can fill it with stuff. And uh, a mushroom book, okay. Apparently that reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. Good stuff. All right, that's going to get filed away in the journal, I think. And that's that. All right. Okay. And the hell was that? Is that the electricity or a creaky floorboard or... Maybe I just tripped a fuse or something. Let's just leave that there. There's the bed for nightfall, I guess. Okay, let's close all the doors. Right, if I was to barricade a window, what would that what would that take? Okay, wooden planks. Oh. 
Oh man, okay, I need... Damn, this is hard to read, but yeah, you need seven nails and three wooden planks, I suppose. I need to find some wood and some nails. Okay. Oh, we got some nails. Eleven nails, alright, brilliant. Another rag. A photo of a road. The road home, that's what that says, apparently. Alright. Maybe I should search for it. Okay, that's actually a gaping hole in my hideout. Can we drag this? Yes, we can. Okay, it's it's probably not the best solution, but it's better than nothing, in my opinion. Let's just put that there. Yeah, stop dragging. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Through here. Okay. I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the others. Oh, that's the one with the, we barricaded. Okay. If I just... Oh, I can't dismantle it. Or maybe I need the right tool to do it. Um, or, or the right weapon to destroy it. We've got a workbench here, right. Oh, wow. Okay, so more stuff to craft. Massive inventory space here. We can repair items, upgrade them, and even upgrade the workbench. Okay. Looks like I need wooden planks and nails for pretty much everything. Make our own bear traps, chain traps. Okay, there's things that can poison me, apparently. That's lovely. Board with nails. That might be worth getting, actually. Wait, shouldn't it be boards with nails if you need two of them? Whatever. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, oh, perfect, yeah. Hot bar and inventory upgrade. Ah, right. Well, I've got one. I, I need cloth of some sort, it looks like. Gas bottle, lockpicks, bandages. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay. Yeah. Can we, like, destroy the stool or something to get some wood? Looks like I can only drag it. Never mind. What the hell is that stuff? Oh. Oh, these are the mushrooms. Wait, are these the mushrooms that you're, like, obsessing about? That you mentioned over by the oven? An odd-looking mushroom. Got it. Okay, let's take a little look, shall we? There it is. It's cookable and it rots over time. Oh, it's cookable! Well, seeing as I'm right next to the oven, let's take a little look. I think it's because I'm running over the wires. I'm not sure why that's happening. I might be like gunshots in the distance. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it's something I can actually use. I can extract ten essence from it. Alright. Forty more to go, I suppose. I guess I can't take it back. Uh, no, it's gone. I guess it's it's in the syringe. All right. Well, I, I'm looking for the mushrooms then to to gather essence for something to to cook. I am a little bit in the dark in this area, to be honest. And there's no more there. No, it's remains. All right. Let's go out and let's see what we find. Goodness gracious me. Okay, so there's a rather horrible looking well, which I could rebuild. Yep. Okay. Four planks. That's it, really. Okay. Still need some wood, though. We've got a saw. What's that down there? Oh. It's fuel. Like a generator, it needs fuel. Okay. Converts the logs to planks. Alright, I'll need to find some logs. Good stuff, good stuff. Got a container here. Oh, we need a code. I don't have a code. And it's not that one. <laughs> one of these days it might be 0000, zero, zero, zero but not this day. Yeah, that's blocked up. That's better, isn't it? More of these mushrooms, I think. Yeah, large mushrooms. Harvest another one. I kind of want to see what would happen if we do get 50 essences. So, yeah. What have we got here, then? Oh. Oh, perfect. Well, not perfect. The generator's half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one night, but... I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Which is... To the west. Okay, well, I should go over there then, shouldn't I? It does work, but let's not waste it. Let's wait until nightfall. We have a note here. Oh, man. Again, like the diary, it's kind of hard to read. I wish the text was bolder, to be honest. Um, yeah, turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do you any good. They're coming either way. Lovely. Thanks for that. Oh, boy. Did you write that note? He's got a torch. Okay, a rag as well. Yeah, let's grab all of those. I guess that's going to go there. 
Matchsticks, nice, nice. Alright, let's go back to having a look around the exterior. What's this? Uh, nothing. And same with that one, it looks like, okay. What's this? Oh, wooden logs, great! Not great. Wait, how come there's nothing there? I can see wooden logs, <laughs> what am I searching? <laughs> ah, I guess they're just fixed. All right, so the underground entrance to find some gasoline, or eh, screw it, let's go east. <laughs> I know I should be going west. I know that, but I just want to explore. Apparently, by the way, this game is heavily randomized. So even if you've played this game or watched this game before, it might be vastly different to like another playthrough. Whoa. Okay, that that's a that's a, that's a dog, I guess. Right, probably not a friendly dog. What have we got here? You can only really see them when I'm looking at them as well. Oh, po oh, poisonous mushrooms. There you go. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm weaving my way around this, to be honest. Doesn't look like the best place to go. Wait, hang on. What's this? Is that something? Oh! Oh, I could open it with a lockpick. Do I have a lockpick? There it is. Oh, I don't need a lockpick. Shit. Uh, what do you need to make a lockpick again? There it is. Oh, you need two of the... Oh, I need to find some wire. Okay. I'll have to remember there's a crate to the east of uh, my hideout. Unless... Is it on the map? Uh, I don't think that's it. I think that's probably the poisonous mushroom field, but... Okay, it's nearby that. It's really quite staggering, actually, some of the uh, the little details in this game. Even at this resolution, just like the leaves going back and forth, the branches swaying... I think I just saw something there. That looks like a another like wood pile. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. A board, nails. Sure. That's going to come in useful. Did I? Right. It's it's a dog. Should we just have a little look around? Is it safe to? Let's close the door so no one sneaks in. Hopefully, dogs can't open doors. In the wardrobe. Okay. A couple of flares. And a pill of some sort. Very quickly, my inventory is filling up. Anything else here? Clothes. More rags. Good stuff. Oh, uh, some more clothes. And some more of these odd-looking mushrooms. A note from the burned house. I know they're there. I can hear them laughing. They're behind the wall of trees. I can't get through by myself. The trees grow back too fast. Right, I'm uh, in a bit of a predicament here, I think. Is it worth dragging the sofa? Oh, do we... Oh, I guess we don't actually need to actually, like, hold the left click down. We just move into it to drag stuff occasionally. Oh, shit, there's actually something there! A white dress! Okay. And we're getting a close-up of it, so I guess it's kind of important. And fabric. Fabric. Wasn't that the stuff for the, like, inventory upgrade? That's probably what I'm going to get next, honestly, if I can. Okay, yeah, um... Let's harvest some more of those, get another one, and then maybe let's go back and cook? We could do that, I guess. Right. Let's just see... Can I... Oh, okay, I can use this as a weapon, just in case, you know? <laughs> I saw him out there. I see you, pooch. Might just make a break for it, actually. I'm fairly sure they don't like me. Run. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> actually, put the light out. It might help. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Okay. I don't want to run into the poison mushrooms, ideally. Right, I've lost him. Did take a bit of a bite, though. Hopefully he's not rabid. Cool. All right. I don't know. Maybe I could have taken him with the torch. I don't really want to waste it, though, on, on hitting things. Anyway, yeah, this is this is the hideout, isn't it? Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, that's it. My protection. So there's only one door into the place. Several windows, unfortunately. And I probably should be more conservative with my stamina. 
Especially if I'm going to get chased by dogs. Um, okay, so let's take a little look at the oven, shall we? Right. 50 out of 50. Oh, I see! Oh! What's this? Staying in dark areas at night can be dangerous to me. Oh, we make a choice, do we? Oh, I see. No, no, don't click that! I don't want that! <laughs> anyway, I, I can see farther with eagle eye, it looks like. Once a day I'll be able to heal myself uh, standing next to an electric light source. Okay, that's kind of neat, I guess. I'll learn my current location on the map. I don't know if I want that, to be honest. I kind of like being lost. Mushroom healing. I can heal myself by eating mushrooms. I've seen quite a few mushrooms, to be honest. I might get that one. These are skills, I take it, right? That's what the dose is about. Do we have to have that one? I can't unclick it. Let me just, just back out. Oh, I can't press escape. I can't back out of this either. Fuck. Confirm, I guess. And the next dose, I would need, I guess, 15 of these odd-looking mushrooms. Okay. Well, let's back out of this. Uh, J... No, not keys. Me. Yes, I've got skills now. Shadows and mushroom... It looks like heating, but I think it's mushroom healing. But okay. Okay, well, there you go. A few of my questions are getting answered already, I guess. Um, I might have a bit of a dumb question, actually, right now. How do I tell if it's, like, night? Is it going to come up there? Because it kind of looks like it's... Like there's a moon behind the house already. Is there a warning on the screen? Does it just get darker? I guess it just gets darker. I don't want to get caught short, though, you know? Anyway. Let's head west. Let's see if we can find this entrance to the underground. And then maybe head back to the hideout and have a look at the workbench. I'm heading the right way, right? It was west. Oh, here we go, the underground entrance. There you go. There's the fence line for it. Ooh. More wood? No? Oh, maybe, actually. Wooden logs. Hey, okay. Nails and boards. I only got the two, but that's okay. Right. It's in there, is it? Oh, hang on. It's not really the sack I was looking at, but can I have a look at the sack? Oh, really? I can search it. Wow, I've got a long reach, it seems. Uh, pills? Yeah. Still don't really know what these pills do. I guess maybe I'd, I can have an experiment. Let's see. Eat. Yeah, eat the pills. My lungs are more efficient. Oh, for stamina? Oh, okay. I was hoping it was going to do something with healing, honestly. There's a bullet. Medium caliber. Some bread. Okay. There's the breads. Let's see. Do we need to eat and drink? It said I wasn't too bothered about it, really. And that goes to make my lungs more efficient as well. Right. Weird. 9 volt battery. And a dog. Okay. Can we get inside this place? I think there was a trap next to the door. I'm kind of aware of that, but... There's another one out there, actually. Maybe I should just leave it there. Wait. More logs? Oh, yeah. Board nails. Great. Okay, it seems like we can actually carry 50 nails at once in one slot, which is great. This is the house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here, apparently. I don't know if I want to disarm the traps, really. It might be best if I don't. There's a corpse here. Bandages. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's use them immediately. Cool, cool. Cheers, mate. Yeah, there you go. Um, might want to disarm this one, actually, because it's awkwardly placed. Scrap metal, lovely. I'll have to listen out for that noise. Large mushrooms, okay, let's, let's harvest some more. Damn, I probably should have got the bigger inventory. Okay. Oh, a lockpick, man. And then some more bread. I Yeah, shit, there's some stuff here I can't pick up. Cycle between the objects, eh? 
Oh, that's the up and down thing, is it? Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. I'll take the nail. I'll take the rags, I guess. Oh, I can't take all of them. Oh, man. What a fool. What a fool. Is there something in the wardrobe as well? Oh, this is the gasoline that I needed. Oh, shit. Well, um, I don't know. The pills, I don't know if I'm going to really want, so I'll put the pills there. I'll take the gasoline. That's what I really want. There's a pack of cigarettes. Oh, that's a special item. Okay. More matchsticks. Good stuff. Okay. Wait a minute. What's all this about? Drag it. Drag it. I'm seeing marks on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> if there's something big and heavy in the room, drag it, I think. More mushrooms. See, to me, it looks really dark right now. Yeah, the light actually seems to be fading. The entrance to the underground tunnels. I- Oh, it just said I must return to the hideout before nightfall as I went in here. Well, this is an indoor area, right? And hey, there's, there's a light! This isn't the worst! Or maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> it could be! Uh, right, I'm gonna need my torch, I think. Oh, we've got rubble. I can dig through it. Uh, maybe. Oh. Oh, I would need a shovel. Alright, well, um, we'll come back, I suppose. Let's just have a look at my inventory. Okay, if necessary, I could craft a torch, either with the alcohol bottles or the, the gasoline that I've got. Might need to do that, honestly. A light bulb dimly lits the wet walls of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm walking too fast to read it. Oh. Fuck. Maybe I don't want to be here. I think that's actually, um... Pretty evident that I don't want to be here. Oh, that's blocked up as well. Okay. Maybe if I've got a shovel or something, I can get rid of the roots. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to make another torch, because I, I can see this one going out, which means I'll have to drop something. Um, I don't want to drop fabric. Maybe a 9-volt battery. I don't know what that could be used for at the moment, to be honest. So, drop that. Make a torch. Fuck. Okay, and that will go there, I guess. Alright, let's use this one up first. Wah! Fuck. <laughs> this, is, this is actually surprisingly tense. There's a corpse here. Okay. Oh god, what is that? What is that? Just ellipsis. I have no idea. Search it. Odd meat. It's got a value of 60. I don't have the inventory, though. Why the fuck didn't I make the backpack upgrade? Like, immediately when I got back. I was too stunned by my new skills, I guess. What are these? More of these mushrooms. I guess let's harvest them, right? Oh, fuck. Okay, that's okay. We are actually getting more light over here, though, to be honest. Do I need to use the torch? Maybe I don't. Okay. More of these mushrooms. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So I can either put them in another dose or eat them myself, I think. Is that an option? Uh, oh, there they are, right. Yeah, eat. Rots over time, though, so probably best I don't. On the door. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the underground passage. Locked, unfortunately. I won't be able to open it without my key. Key 21. A few options, then. Uh, let's press my ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone's calling me. Okay. Look at the handle. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. It hasn't been opened for at least two weeks. Alright. Can we look through it? Well, there's some light on in the distance. And a dim light bulb. Too fond of these roots that seem to be going all around this place. Um, okay, so I guess there's nothing we can really do here unless I've got that key. And I have no idea where to find the key. Alright. Let me 
mean, is that it? That could be like, that could be it, to be honest. Oh shit. What the hell's going on here? Oh god, damn, I can barely see. <laughs> I think that's just dust clouding my, uh, my character. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Search the corpse. Yeah, let's let's get out of it. We need to get home before dark, don't we? So let's let's do that. I'll maybe come back for the battery later. Oh my god, that did not sound good. I think there's actually something to the right. Oh, what's in the backpack? Oh, oh, there's something in the backpack. No, I fuck it, fuck it. Whoa, okay, I I moused over something. There's something there. Fucking hell. Right. Okay. Uh, again, I think I'm sort of answering my own question. This looks like it's getting a lot darker. It mentioned I should get back to the hideout. Let's get back to the hideout. It's it's dusk, I guess, right now. I can still see without the light, so I guess it's not fully nightfall yet. Oh, man. I fucking disposed of those pills that would help me run a little bit faster, didn't I? Shit. I must be somewhere nearby. Oh, the fucking bushes, man. Come on. I need to get that generator on. I need to get the windows barricaded up and everything. Is this it? Right, this is it. This is it. This is the generator, isn't it? Switch it on. There you go. Um, hold on, hold on. Let's fill this up. So, it was, I think it was right click to refill. And then, yeah, right click, then left click. I'd rather be in the main building that doesn't have a gaping hole in the wall. Frankly, I'm just going to put it all in there. I mean, I guess I could put some of it in the sawmill, but mm, fuck it. Okay, the tank's empty. Good stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I was just wondering, where's my night protection gone? Right, there you go. Okay, now, now it looks dark. I think I'll go back just in the nick of time, to be honest. Right, can we make this now? Oh. I need to upgrade my workshop to craft this. I've got the materials for it, but right. Ah, oh, I'd need more planks to do it. Oh, okay. Ah. <sighs> do I do I I don't know. Do I save the planks or do I make myself a weapon? Because I can make myself a weapon now. I'm going to make myself a weapon because it's the first night and truthfully I don't know what's going to happen. I, uh, it didn't seem to go so well before in the other place, in the doctor's house. Right. So I should stay around the light, shouldn't I? Also, let's... Oh, it's too dangerous to cook during the night. Ooh. So there's something I can't do. Maybe I should move the light. Yeah. So these things, these infected things, they they don't like the light, I take it. So if I put it like there? Because the beams of light are coming out the window, maybe they won't go anywhere near the windows, that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm hoping. That's covered with a trap. Okay. Did I close the front door? Genuinely cannot remember. I did. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, to repair a door completely, what would that be? Five planks and nine nails, I think. Wow. Shit. Uh, that's not great, is it? Okay. Yeah, again, let's just, uh, let's drag this closer to the window. I want to get a good look at what, like, is out there. What was in the tunnel? What took me out in the prologue? <gasps> what the fuck? Close that damn door! I didn't see anything! What the hell? What opened that door? The fucking wind? There could be something in the bedroom. Let's go in. I didn't hear a window break and I didn't hear the trap go off or anything.
thought I heard something to the right, but I think it was me just pushing the light, to be honest. Can we just go to sleep? We can't! Okay, we, we're going to have to just sort of wait this out, I think. <laughs> my arm's probably going to get tired, but uh, I think it's probably better than me just putting my arms by my sides. I got two lights protecting me. I should be fine, really. What about these cracks in the walls? Can we do anything with that? I guess not. What was that? Was that me? Keep hearing odd things. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. So we've got a couple of little additions to the map. I know there's a there's some trees over there, and I guess. I don't know what that would be actually over there. There's the burnt houses, of course, with the dog. Maybe dogs, actually. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty fun, actually. How, uh, how long do nights last in game? Is it like a five minute thing, or? keep hearing something to the left. Right, of course. This wardrobe actually does have like a health bar. So I'm wondering if something could destroy it and get through that. I guess that's a thing. Actually, you know what? This has a few slots. It's got eight slots, so maybe I should store some stuff here. I don't have a gun at the moment, so let's put the bullet away. Rope. Let's put the rope and the fabric away, because that's getting saved for an inventory upgrade. So that's... yeah, when I've uh, upgraded the workshop, that's where I'll get that stuff back. Scrap metal. It's all good. Flare, I guess maybe I'll keep. What's going on? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the first wave. Let's do this. Oh god. Day two! I made it! I made it my first night, I think! Fantastic! What's this? Time... Hang on. What? What the hell? Wolfman? Wolfman. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh... Let's talk, I guess? Oh fuck, it's actually a wolfman! Oh, okay. Uh, even from afar I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. <laughs> I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? He's giggling under the hood, apparently. Can, can wolves giggle? I guess. Okay, I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've no times for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I'd prepare myself well before setting out. Alright, when you get there, you'll find me in this spot. Remember it. Oh, he's writing something on the map, okay. Oh. Oh, trade. This is where the value thing comes in, I suppose? Show item. Well, show item. Oh, I see. Uh, show him the plastic chick, then, I guess. Uh, beautiful item, perfect for a church fair, he says. What about the photo of a road? What's that you got there? Okay, he snatches it away. Does he recognize it? Ah, the road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees, like all the other ones. Thanks, that was my photo, I think. Better forget about the road home. Around here, the roads lead to nowhere. Alright. Okay, well that's kind of neat, I suppose. There's gossip. Let's have a look at trade, though. Oh! I buy weapons and ammo. I like the sound of that. I could buy some wire for a lockpick. Matchstick, nail, or red egg. Okay. Small caliber magazine. If I had a gun... Oh, a gun! Oh, it's a handgun frame! Got a watch. Right, so if I wanted to get a watch, 
Oh, it's not a money system, it's a reputation system. And I guess he likes me enough to give me like 50 on the house. We'll get some tape. Chain. 150 for a chain, Jesus Christ. Gasoline. Might be worth getting some more gasoline, honestly. A flashlight, 240. Wow. Toolbox. Hmm, alright. Well, he doesn't want most of my stuff. You give him the flares, I guess. And still take the gasoline and I get two more reputations, so it would be slightly better friends, I guess. I think gasoline's probably worth getting. I don't know if flares are worth it. Maybe flares are good for distracting dogs or something and lighting places up. I want to keep most of the matchsticks, I think. Right. Yeah, maybe I don't need gasoline immediately, so let's just leave it there, I think, maybe. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's gossip! Uh, he wouldn't recommend wandering around the woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. Well, that's what I did and it seemed to work the first time. So, let's hope it works all the other times too. Okay. So there's, uh, there's characters in this game. There is interaction between me and animals, I guess? Alright. Oh, he has a camp in the dry meadow. What? Right, let's just have a look at the map, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's his camp. Oh, and that's where he wants us to go, in the silent forest. Right. Well, I know where the underground entrance is. It looks like the uh, the entrance to the silent forest is just directly south of it, if the map's anything to go by, and it's fairly accurate. So I guess I could do that. Damn, okay. That's pretty neat, to be honest. Right, anyway, uh, it, it's uh, it's cooking time, right? Yeah. Cool. Alright, it's saved again, so I think this is actually where I'm going to end part two of Darkwood. So thank you very much for watching this part, really do hope you enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed this, it was extremely tense, even though not a lot was happening, to be honest. And we seem to have a quest from this Wolfman guy, so maybe next time in part 3 we'll head south and see if we can get to the Silent Forest. See you then. And now I can cook? Okay. Wait, shouldn't it be boards with nails if you need two of them? <laughs> I saw him out there! I see you, pooch! The entrance to the underground tunnels. I- Oh, it just said I must return to the hideout before nightfall as I went in here. A light bulb dimly lits the wet walls of the underground passage. The further part is shrouded in- Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, what's in the backpack? Oh, oh, there's something in the backpack? No, I- Fuck it, fuck it. Whoa, okay, I- I moused over something. There's something there. Fucking hell. What the fuck? Close that damn door. What the hell? 